The autonomic nervous system has several parts to it. The two we're going to talk about are the sympathetic nervous system. This is the fight or flight part of your nervous system. It's triggered by the amygdala. The amygdala goes off, the sympathetic nervous system puts into action. Then there is the parasympathetic nervous system. This is the rest and repose nervous system. I'm really hoping that's the one that's active for you right now. Here's the thing about these two nervous systems. They're like a seesaw. When one goes up, the other one goes down. So if you have your parasympathetic nervous system active, like right now, but you have a triggering event, it goes down and the sympathetic nervous system goes up. So if you're in that triggered state, what you want to develop the skill to do is to activate the parasympathetic nervous system to begin to bring more calm to your world. There are certain techniques to do that. First of all, you all are managers. You have some options available to you that perhaps your staff don't have. In my example with my staff person, I could have said, you know, thanks for sharing that information. Why don't we take a break and resume our conversation tomorrow? That would have been the wise thing to do the minute I felt my jaw clench. You have the option, when you feel your somatic markers being activated, you have the option to say, you know, let's just, let's just pause in our conversation. Can we finish this up tomorrow? That's the wise thing for you to do. But sometimes you can't do that. There are some techniques that you can develop, that you can become skilled at, to activate that parasympathetic nervous system. We're going to do them right now. First of all, we don't realize how much tension we hold in our face. So just right now, where you're sitting, just think about relaxing the area around your eyes. Many of us clench that space around our eyes. Just relax that. Relax that jaw. You can do this in the middle of a meeting. No one's going to really know. Worst case, they'll think you have something in your eye. Breathe deeply. You feel those somatic markers starting. Take deep breaths. Part of that is exhaling fully. You see, you hold tension in your gut. You hold on to those hurt feelings. You hold on to all those old stories that don't serve you anymore. Take that deep breath. Exhale slowly, slowly. Let it go. Let it go. Let go of the hurt feelings. Let go of the emotion. Let it go. You didn't know your mother was a neuroscientist, did you, when she told you to count to 10? What's that doing? Right? It's letting that energy dissipate. And it's not, by the way, it's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> it's 1, 2, 3. Visualize that tension flowing out of your body. Visualize coming to a calm place. This is a skill that you can develop because you're working with your nervous system. That triggered reaction is a biological response. It's a very natural one. The best you can do is to learn how to work with it to begin to bring it back into balance quicker. Now that's you. But what about when your staff is triggered? You can develop some skills to help calm their energy. And one triggered person in a meeting can trigger a whole group, right? Again, you're the manager. You may have an option to be able to say, you know what, let's just pause here. Why don't we just take a bathroom break or a coffee break or come back tomorrow? Let's just take a break. The minute you notice the whole group becoming triggered, take a break. Let that energy dissipate. Now here's another one. This one might not be applicable to everybody. I put it in here because it's applicable to me, and it's all about me. <laughs> my natural posture at my desk or in a conference room is to lean on the table. 
I don't know why, it just is my natural posture, and it's just comfortable. But for some people, that looks like an aggressive stance. So if you do this, and you notice that people are having a triggered response, sit back. Sit back, it takes the energy down. Relax your body. Now that might seem silly, but remember that first exercise we did. Remember how much you picked up just from someone's posture. So if you've got a team that's triggered, relax your body. Calm your voice. You're the leader. You set the tone. And actually there's neuroscience behind that too. It's called mirror neurons. They will tend to mimic what you do. Calm your voice. Slow your conversation. Just as I do this, can you feel the energy change in the room? If someone comes at you with all that energy, just let it flow right by like water flowing around a rock. Just let it flow right by and don't engage. These are all skills that you can employ to work with your staff to help them calm down from a triggered state. 